Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One. I'm Player Two, and I cast Testicular Torsion, Delayed Reaction. At some point, you're going to have your nuts twisted during this video. And if you don't have nuts, it's going for your ovaries. Well, no, I was talking to you. Me? Yes. Anyway, uh... Welcome back to Yak. Yeah, welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Uh, apparently we have a little bit of Majima left to do. So, folks, uh, you're not gonna hear us for most of this, because I did a lot off, off of present time, and you're going to see that. So basically, if you would remember, I needed to do a lot of sub-stories with Majima. What, what, was, what was the stuff in the equipment? There was some I didn't recognize. Is that an eel? We'll get to that. Is that a soft shell turtle? We'll get to that. Basically. You went fishing without me. Basically. Blade reaction start. Do you remember this one, this one function of, of the cabaret club where you had to train your hostesses and we didn't do any of it mm. at all? Yeah, well, I did most of it. I did most of it. So, um, I'm going special, to- Special training just sounds like Majima's taking him in the back room to fuck. Basically. Um, is that really what it is? I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to show you first karaoke, because I didn't tell you, when you take the girls to karaoke, you remember at the end of each song, it had the little music video? Well, now the female songs have the music video portion because the girls are singing it. So first, here's that.
you like the little performances there? And now, I did not record all of the trainings, I just recorded the portions that mattered, which were the end, which were the sub-stories. So now, I will leave you with a good bit of Hostess sub-stories. And now for our transition, just take the torsion, right nut. Great. So in our first, um, Hostess girl side quest sub story thingy. Uh, we have the beautiful Yuki. I was going to save this one. This one was actually going to be the last one we do, but uh, I was clicking the button too fast and I accidentally clicked hers. So, yeah. Anyway, the whole thing is that she's meeting a guy after work. And she, he's someone special to her. Oh man, is it her boyfriend? Let's see. Uh. Have fun tonight. Yuki-chan's got a boyfriend. Never saw that coming. Man, why am I feeling like a ton of bricks? Is this what birds feel like when their chicks leave the nest? Oh, Majima-san, is your lesson done already? Where'd Yuki-chan go? Yeah, I've been done. As for Yuki-chan, I think she's going on a date with her boyfriend. Huh? B -b 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 boyfriend Yuki-chan has a boyfriend? That's what she said. Said something about him being a very important man in her life. An important man in Yuki-chan's life. Yeah. Majima-san, don't you think there's something fishy about this? Huh? What she's talking about, Yoda? After all, this is Yuki-chan we're talking about. Yuki-chan's a plain, flat-chested wallflower who's never had a boyfriend in all the years she's been alive. She could barely chat with the customers until you arrived. Do you think it's really possible that she found herself a boyfriend so suddenly? Hmm... You know, you're right. It does smell a little fishy. And again, what's that say about you, Yoda-chan? Why are you pulling plain, flat chested wallflowers into the hostess business? I anyway, do you think Yuki-chan is being conned? Conned? What? Yes, you hear news about men taking advantage of lonely women and cleaning out their savings. Yuki-chan's naive enough to fall for it. I'd bet that's what's happening. Huh. Yeah, I can see it. That girl's gullible enough to fall for a little sweet talk. You're making me concerned here. Alright, only one thing for it. We gotta go after her and find out for ourselves. We can still catch her. Yes, let's go. Yuki-chan's virtue is in peril, not to mention her life savings. Yeah, I'll get an eyeball on this guy and then I can decide if this boyfriend of hers is legit or not. It's number 69. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yuki-chan sure seems to be in a good mood. Yeah, she does. Here's hoping her man does turn out to be just a regular old boyfriend. Hmm? Is someone there? Crap, 
Get down. Guess I'm hearing things. Yuki Chan's more self aware than she looks. Indeed. That was a close one. Yuki Chan's been waiting a while now, though, huh? Yes, it's already been 15 minutes. The odds of her being taken for a ride are increasing with every passing second, if you ask me. Yeah. Someone's heading her way. Hey, Yuki. Sorry I'm late. Oh, no, it's okay. I just got here myself, too. Oh, Yuki chan, you've been waiting 15 minutes. What a sweetheart she is. But what's with this guy? Kinda rocking the cradle a bit, ain't he? Yeah, and I bet he looks younger than he actually is, too. I bet he's way older than Yuki chan. And Yuki chan was saying her ideal man would be a prince. Does this guy look like the type who rides in on a right horse to you? Love is blind, Majima san. It clouds your judgment. Well, we should get going. They're on the move. Gotta tail him, Gota Chan. Right. It's been a while since we've been able to sit down for a quiet meal together. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, we seem pretty familiar with each other. Yes, very true. But, uh, Majima san. Do you think we're crossing any ethical boundaries here? Hey, we just happen to enter the same restaurant as Yuki-chan and her mystery man. It's a free country. I guess that's one way to put it. You caught me off guard when you came over the other night. You have to let me know before you just show up next time. <laughs> Sorry, Yuki. I was so excited to see you, I just couldn't help but come on over. Oh, you. Oh my. I don't want to picture anyone I know in that situation, least of all our Yuki-chan. Yeah, well, even worse when you figure out this whole geezer is laying his gritsy, greasy mitts on our poor Yuki-chan. Yeah, but if he's really her boyfriend, it isn't a problem, right? We should be happy for her in that case. You got a point. As long as he's treating her right, that would be the best thing for her. Oh yes, before I forget, here's this month's money. G -g -g Oh, nice. Thank you, Yuki-chan. I love you. Did money just change hands, or do I only have one good eye? It did. And you do. Maybe he's sick, right? Maybe she's helping to cover the old guy's medical bills. Well, he is old, but he doesn't look unhealthy. That's true. Yeah. No, no. Just because she handed over cash doesn't have to mean she's being conned. It's true. I have something important to tell you, Yuki-chan. I've met someone. I may even marry her. What? Well, I don't know what to say. That's not something I expected you to drop on me out of the blue. Wiggly. What's this all about? That guy just straight up told her he's got another woman on the side right to her face. He must be using it as leverage to dump her. And he'll make her pay him more money to keep him around, I bet. I think I hit the nail on the head. What the hell? Poor Yuki-chan. Well, we've gotta remember. This is Yuki-chan here. Could be a misunderstanding. Let's keep watching. Uh, isn't it obvious she's being duped? You're giving Yuki-chan a little too much credit, Majima-san. Well, I admit that news caught me off guard, but I'm happy for you. If you're in love, who am I to say no? Thank you, Yuki. What's wrong with you, Yuki-chan? How can you be so forgiven? That's why I came to Osaka, honestly. I had to tell you. It was important enough to tell you in person. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit, Dad. Dad? Huh? What? Majima-san? And Yura-san? What are you two doing here? Oh, um... Yeah, about that. <laughs> Me, a con man, trying to dupe Yuki. <laughs> That's a classic. I don't find this amusing at all. I'm speechless. So, um, you're really Yuki-chan's dad, are you? Yes, yes. Guilty as charged. 
Seems Yuki-chan continues to be quite the handful. She hasn't changed a bit. Alright, then what's up with the money? Why are you forking cash over to your dad, Yuki-chan? You saw that too? My dad loaned me money so I could move to Osaka, and I'm paying him back a little every month. That's all. Then that talk about your dad finding another lady... <laughs> yes, I met a woman I hoped to marry. My wife, Yuki's mother, passed away years ago. I never expected an autumn romance, but life is a strange thing sometimes. So that's the whole story, huh? You being Yuki's dad was the furthest thing from my mind. We're terribly sorry for leaping to conclusions. I even went so far as to get you as a swindler. Bro, oh, no, it's fine. It's rather reassuring to know you care so much about Yuki that you're watching over her. To be honest, I had my doubts that Yuki was cut out for hostess work. Dad? Timid, awkward, introverted, and shy. That's the daughter I know and love. I wasn't sure how in the world she'd survive as a hostess. But seeing her here in Osaka, the first thing I noticed was how much the city has changed her. Changed how? Well, maybe it's just a father's bias talking, but I think she's more cheerful and more composed now. Radiant, even. I'm sure it has to do with her enjoying her work at the club you gentlemen run. Dad. So, you're Majima-san. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Yuki goes on and on about you. I was hoping I could meet you in person to see how much of that I could actually believe. Dad! Oops. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All joking aside, Majima-san, Nyoda-san, was it? I hope I can count on you to keep watching over my daughter. Yeah, of course. We gotta groom Yuki-chan into the best hostess she can be. Absolutely. I'll do my best to make Yuki-chan the top hostess in Sotenbori. And all Japan. Right, Majima-san? Yeah. We'll make it happen, Yoda-chan. Very heartening. Huh? Hold your horses. I wanted to get an office job eventually. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, hello. I'm still here. Come on. And that was Yuki's. Pretty entertaining, which is why I wanted to save it for last, but um, I clicked the button too fast. On to the next one. I think it would only be right if next up was I, seeing as how she was our second platinum girl. Not really any, like, underlying subplot here. She just likes Majima and told about a bridge to go hang out at, and we're gonna go. Um, Majima-san. Huh? What's up? So this is the end of our training together, right? Sure is, Ai-chan. You're more than capable of working as a hostess without any more of this practice. Does... It does make me happy, but I wish I could keep talking to you, Machima-san. No problem. Wanna go to Bishamon Bridge like I promised? Ooh, thank you. Let's go, let's go. And I don't know if you noticed yet, most of these sub-stories are just scenes. You don't really do nothing, because they're, they're the rewards, you know? You've done seven trainings. Why would they have you do more for a sub-story? Ah, uh, this place is so nice. I feel like I can relax here. Yeah, I gotta agree. I ain't got great memories of this town, but I do like the view from Bishamon Bridge. Oh, really? I really like it here, too. And this time, I'm here with you, Majima-san. Just the two of us. <laughs> that make you happy? Oh, yes. I really am happy. I can't remember the last time I got to walk around with someone. That's so. Now that you mention it, though, I do remember you saying you don't get out with friends too often. Yeah, I didn't really make friends with the bullies back at school. And I haven't been in Osaka long, so I haven't had many chances to make friends here, either. Yeah, that's a real bummer. But the way you're going now, Ai-chan, you'll be making more friends so you can count in no time flat. Do you really mean that? Thank you. Besides, Ai-chan, I think everyone at Sunshine already considers you a friend. Really? You think so? I would love it if that were true. You know, I think Sunshine is a really strong club. You think so? I feel like we've got a ways to go before we're in the same tier as those top clubs. Oh no, I know that, but that's not what I meant. I was talking about the club's attitude. It's attitude? Yes, 
When I was bullied in school, all I ever did was run away. But the people of Sunshine don't buckle under pressure. Even when other clubs try to cause trouble, Sunshine's always up to the challenge. It's real strength. That's why I think I don't need to run from trouble anymore. Sunshine has changed me for the better. Yeah, the sun will do that for you, I hear. I can't predict the future, but long as we stick together, we'll make it through whatever the world throws our way, right? Yes, of course. Let's do our best together. That's the spirit, Ai-chan. You shine when you're cheerful. Alright, we should get going. Hmm. Something wrong? Majima-san, before we go, can I ask you one last question? Sure, what? Majima-san, you have this image of being all business, but I was wondering, would you ever consider going out with a girl? Going out with a girl, huh? Hmm. If the right girl came along. Work's important, but if the right girl came along, I might consider going out with her. Oh really? You would do that? I'm kind of surprised. Good to know there's a chance. Huh? N no, it's nothing. It it's getting chilly. Should we get going? Yeah, we should go. Hi, Chan. I'm counting on you. Of course. And I'm counting on you too, Majima-san. As a friend. What is that smile? That smile does not look natural. It's an art to be your first one of those. Now you can't go around saying you got none either. Thank you very much, Majima-san. Your advice and friendship mean everything to me. Yeah, well, sad to say, I... You ain't... You ain't got no chance when you're going against Makoto Makimura. And, um... Um... <clears throat> Yakuza 5. <clears throat> uh, what? Okay, anyway, next one. Next up is Saki. You remember, she's the busy bee. And her little subplot is she's studying to become a nurse. Pretty, pretty good choice. Sorry, Majima-san. I forgot I was supposed to meet up with a nurse friend of mine. She was going to help me learn about her job. I hate to rush off, but I have to go. No problem. Soak up all that nurse stuff like a sponge. I will. See you later. That girl's such a go-getter. Just being around her puts a spring in my step. So sorry, I was in a hurry. What's that racket coming from outside? Did I just hear Saki-chan? Damn girl, you better watch where you're going. Oh, I'm so sorry, I was in a hurry. Maybe you should slow down, hottie. In fact, how about getting some coffee with us? I'll make us even. I'm sorry, I have an appointment to keep. Oh, so you're just gonna plow into my buddy here and try to run off with a sorry? That's not gonna cut it. Yeah, I think my arm's sprained. You're gonna have to hold up my coffee cup for me. Show me. Mm -hmm. Your arm's fine if you can move it. Can I go now? You little slut. Put your gripe in and come with us. That's right, baby. Mind your manners, huh? If not, we can always teach you some. Oh, aren't you tough? Even I could handle a couple of goofs like you. Well, well, you think you're tough, huh? Guess we'll have to beat some sense in that thick skull. <laughs> Not talking so tough now, are you, darling? Maybe you're just snooty because you think you're hot. I bet a scar across that pretty face of yours would take it down a notch. Not on my feckin' property, Buster. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Majima-san. We'll talk later. Stay back. Uh, okay. Oh, at least I've got a superhero coming to this bitch's rescue. You can't take both of us, you one-eyed fuck. Kicking your ass is gonna make the dessert taste even better. Oh, yeah? You really think so, huh? You know what? You don't even deserve anything else besides thug. Because that's what you are. And also, I need to rack up thug kills. And... dead. Goody. 
Majima-san, are you alright? Saki-chan, I was literally within earshot. Why didn't you just call for help? Because it was my fault, it wouldn't have been right to get you involved. You best wise up, lady. None of that hot mess was your fault. And what if he got you with that knife? He could have gotten seriously hurt or even killed. And I ain't ever heard of a dead nurse. You got family and friends who care about you, Saki-chan. Not to mention a dream you're chasing. How would I ever face your family if I had to tell them some news like that, huh? If you got hurt and couldn't work, you couldn't send money to your family. Forget saving up for school, not to mention the medical bills. That dream you're chasing could all gone up in a puff of smoke. So unless you're willing to accept that, then you better call for backup you can count on when shit hits the fan. You leave that stuff to me. I'm the one who took on the responsibility of keeping you girls safe. You got that? Majima-san. Saki-chan, let me tell you something else. I admire how driven and hardworking you are. A girl with guts like you is one in a million. But I wish you'd rely more on me and the others. You gotta start treating yourself better. It's your dream, it's your burden to shoulder, sure. But in this life, you can count on friends like me to lighten the load, even if only a little. Deal? Majima-san. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You calm down now? Yes, I'm sorry I got so emotional. Nothing to be ashamed of. After a scare like that, anybody would be relieved. Yeah. You're right, though. I was taking on too much by myself. My family, my dream, my work, my responsibilities. I thought I had to do everything by myself. Majima-san, you taught me that sometimes it's okay to ask for help. So... If I ever find myself another hopeless mess, will you help me? Sure thing. You just whisper my name, and I'll appear. Bam. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad I joined Sunshine, and I'm glad I got to meet you, Majima-san. I'm going to hold you to what you said, you know. No problem. You got me in your corner. Oh. Oh no, I had an appointment. Okay, I have to go. On your marks, get set, go! There goes a real live wire of a lady. Keep running hard after your dream, girl. That one was kinda nice. You know, besides the fight with the schlees bags. Some assholes. But yeah, pretty, pretty overall nice. Next one. And next up we've got Chica. Um, she was the, the girl with the army guy, the like old and brash guy, she was with him. And um, that's about her only defining trait. She's also kind of airhead. That's, that's about it. I didn't enjoy this training though, you know. This makes me a little sad to hear. But you make me happy to hear it. What do you say? You want to go into overtime? Overtime? Practicing for an after-hours date. We haven't done that. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Majima-san, is this the first time we've gone outside the club to walk around? Just you and me? I suppose it is. It's like we're on a date. Majima-san. What's up, Chika-chan? What was your motivation for inviting me to work at Club Sunshine? Huh? What's this all of a sudden? I've been meaning to ask for a long time. What made you do it? The club needed you. It's because I figured the club needed you, Chika-chan. Why is that? Let's make it the best cabaret club in Sotenbori, of course. Can't do that without the best girls in town. You needed me for the club. That makes sense. Thank you for considering me necessary. But that ain't all, Chika-chan. There's someone I needed, too. Pardon? I don't know how to say this, but when I saw what things were like for you at Club Venus, it made me want to work with you. I thought if you came to our club, we could let you work more freely and actually enjoy it. Like a bird out of her cage. 
And with a girl of your skills on the team, I knew I'd have to work harder to make the club better too. Maybe I fell in love with you as a hostess, Chicken Chan. Majima-san. I guess my motivation was kind of selfish, really. Selfish, huh? You really are, aren't you? Majima-san, you are selfish. T Sorry, I know it's way too late, but I should have made sure it was what you wanted, Chika-chan. I might have messed things up for you. Yes, you are selfish, Majima-san, but you don't need to apologize. I like selfish men, remember? Chika-chan, are you... Well, boss, we should head back, shouldn't we? Yeah, sure. Lead the way, Majima-san. Remember? I couldn't find my way back if I tried. Without you to show me, who knows? I might lose track of where I should be going. So I'll need you as my escort for a while, okay? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go, Majima-san. That has to be the shortest one. And it's really, it's really still just like, Oh, the girl likes Majima. Oh, but she's not gonna tell him. There you, there you go, okay. And we've got one more before we go back to proper time. And for our last girl, before we go back to present time, we have Hibiki, who was the girl who was working to help her brother. And also revealed just now in this session, um, she also has her father's gambling debt, and her father disappeared, so they're kind of just stuck with it. So yeah. By the way, Hibiki-chan, did you ever tell Yuta-kun you worked here? Oh yes, he knows where the club is. That way he can come find me in an emergency. Smart girl. Already putting plans in place of something where to go down. Can't be easy raising a little kid. Well, he doesn't have it much easier than I do. He must get lonely before he falls asleep at night. Yeah, I can only imagine how lonely, how scary even, must be home alone at age 7. I should get going. It's been a pleasure as always, Majima-kun. Sure thing. Good job today, Hibiki-chan. That's that. I need some fresh air and a smoke. Oh no. Oh. What's with this little kid? Hey little dude, what brings you here so late? You need something from the club? Y yikes. Uh, um, who are you? My name's Majima. Don't let the face fool you, I'm the manager of this fun house. Majima-san, the manager. That's my name, kid. Don't wear it out. Um, you have to let me work here. Oh, sure, kid. Just fill out an application. Wait, what? What's wrong, Majima-san? Why are you shouting? Oh. Hi there, little cutie. Don't tell me. You kidnapped this little boy? What? Yuki, why would I... <laughs> Listen, little dude. Let's finish this chat somewhere else. No, sure. Yuki-chan, you have the helm. What? So, kid, tell me about why you want to work at my club. Because I want to help. Help? Help who? My big sister. Your big sister, huh? Are you maybe... Yuta-kun? Huh? I am, actually. How'd you know? I've heard a lot about you from Hibiki-chan, actually. Oh, really? My big sis is talking about me. That's so cool. <laughs> You'd be amazed. You're all she talks about. So what's all this about working at the club, then? Let me guess. You're lonely at home by yourself? You figure if you worked at the club, you could hang out with your big sis? Um, I am lonely. But that's not why I want to work. I want to help my sister. You want to help her? Yeah. I know she's working really hard lately. I think she's doing it for me. But I'm afraid that if she keeps doing this, then she'll get sick like mom did. That's why I want to work. If 
I can help out even a little bit, Hibiki won't have to work so hard, and then she won't get sick. So Majima-san, please, please let me work at your club. Pretty sure there's a law or six against that. Ain't no need for you to do that, Yuta-kun. I'll watch over your sister and make sure she doesn't overwork herself. Really? Then Hibiki won't get sick like Mom did? No way. I won't ever let Hibiki get sick from working too much. That's a promise. Yuta-kun, you're still a kid. Parents gotta worry about their kids, but kids shouldn't be worrying about their parents. Or their grown-up sisters, for that matter. You do what you're supposed to do as a kid. Study hard, make lots of friends, and horse around. That's what Hibiki-chan wants for you, too. Do you think so? I'm sure of it. Then one day, you'll be a man. And that's when you know it's time to step up to the plate. You make sure you help your sister out when that day comes. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna become a man fast. And then I'll be able to help Mom and Hibiki lots. <laughs> That's the spirit. That'll make them both real happy. Both Hibiki and your mom love you, Yuta-kun. That's why they're working so hard, day in and day out. They want to make sure you got opportunities. <laughs> you really think so? Yep. That's how it is, little dude. So you leave it to me. I'll make sure Hibiki doesn't overwork herself. And that's a promise from me to you, alright? Man to man. Man to man. <laughs> Majima-san, you're so cool. <laughs> Don't I know it. Alright, I gotta head back to the club before Yuki-chan burns it down. You take care, you took him. <laughs> yep, thank you, Majima-san. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> what a good little kid, caring about his sister like that. Not every kid's like that at his age. I see you, Shakedown. You better get the hell out of here. Oh. <laughs> huh? What? You heard all that? <laughs> Guess you caught me. Yuta-kun's a good little soul. You're right. He may not listen to a word I say, but he cares about me in his own way. Seeing him with you made me realize he's growing up in ways I never expected. I couldn't help crying. It made me so happy. You love him like a mother would. You're a good pair, you two. A brother and a sister who really care about each other. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have to work a lot harder for Yuta. Don't you dare. We're working hard for him already. If you got sick, I'd be breaking my promise. Yes, I know, but it'll be okay, because you're going to watch over me from now on, right? You betcha. Of course, promises or not, I'd always meant to keep it safe, Hibiki-chan. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I'm the manager here. It's my job to keep you girls safe. That's just how it's done. Oh. I wish you'd protect me even if I wasn't a girl on the roster at the club. What'd you say? You're muttering to yourself there. <laughs> it's nothing at all. Meow. Let's go back to the club, Majima-kun. Again with the weird-ass smile. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, when Hibiki gets flustered, she starts to talk like a cat. I- I didn't mention it, cause I didn't- I didn't think it would be- come back up, but there- there it is. You are a mystery for the ages, Hibiki-chan. I like- I like that one too, that one was- was still pretty good. But of course, with that... We have one more left. And now I'm going to hand it off to present day me and two. So, wom, 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 wom. And we're back. And one has new nuts. Yep, they're made of, um, made of Kringledorf. Is that who you got the donors from? Maybe. Regulations, your kids will no longer be your own if you have any. But yeah, so now that all of those are done, we have one more to do, and that's Mana's final one. So, we just need to do one more run, which will then unlock that. And I'm I'm filming th this run because, um, you know, we need to send off Cabaret Club right. We need to have one more final lineup. You remember the last time you saw this? 
I don't think I've customized a couple of these girls. It was only the last one. Because we only got her after the end of the story. <sighs> I know what we must do after this. No, we don't. Yes. No, we don't. Yes. No, we don't. Beep, 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 beep. Grandma putting in the work. Also, I wanted to do this because we still had one more bit on the completion list to get money from this. So, yeah. And so, better be prepared to go through all this again, because this returns in Kawami 2. Oh. You know, it's kind of frightening how much Grandma puts in work. People loved gilfs. What can I say? Never say that. Ever again. Am I wrong? Game's literally proven me right. I will get you a t-shirt once I'm out that says, I want a gilf. You could. Simply to spite you. That doesn't mean I'll wear it, though. Oh, but you're going to have to wear it. Says who? Me. What's this man want two towels for? I think he knows the the way of the plap. Well, we're at maximum, so... Um... I will do it after we get a few more people in. Oops. Sweet, they entered a fever. Oh yeah. Granny's putting in so much more work than she needs to. I don't even remember why she wanted to work here. Because we saved her from her own from her own uh, um consequences. This guy come in, and then I'm gonna activate Viva. Wait for her to sit down, and Oh yeah, and at this point, um, two hasn't seen the the girls' sub stories. Were there any actually interesting ones? Uh, Yuki, our first one, our main one. Mm -hmm. Um, she was talking to Majima about meeting a special guy. It was her dad. Oh. But Majima and uh, Yoda followed her, and was like trying to keep a tabs on her to make sure she wasn't doing nothing stupid, because the man, she also said. I make payments to him. And then she said, You're wow, you're so dad. And they were like, Dad! And it was very funny. Um 
There were two that were literally just... <laughs> Majima, I, I like you, but I can't say so. There were literally two like that. Hmm. Then there was one where we beat up some thugs. You know, as you do. Um, Hibiki, her brother... Remember sh this was the one with the, the kid brother? Mm -hmm. He came and was like, let me work at your club. No. I want to help my sister. No. And that, that's basically what that one was. You're, you're a literal child. We'd be arrested. And I think that's... I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them I did. We, but we still have one more. We still have manas. Where's I? Ah, oh. uh, there's a customer who needs a... Alright, I think that, we've gotten enough. I'm just gonna let it out now. Why? There's Matt. Uh, they need help. It's fine. Because this shit, the time is three minutes. Help! If you do everything, it's not three minutes. Check, checks. Well, then at least feed for oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And give me that point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're still number one. Max out the level of a platinum hostess. I didn't even know that was a thing. Thank God I did it. There we go. And now that we've done that, we can go in here. Prepare to open. Special training. And Mana's final customer service. Ooh. So, the, the premise for all of the um, customer service things is that He's just talking to them and acting like a customer to like help them practice. And they're all fully voiced. Well, it was more like a few months ago, so. Gotta keep working. Your spirit is noble, I commend thee. Yeah, she's the goofy one. Oh. So, is this literally just us trying to riz her up? Yes. But of course, this one is... is weird in Zero, cause you're their boss. In the other games, you're a customer, just talking to a hostess. So she has a chest pain. I think it's... She's in love, but no. doesn't know it. No. I think every other girl has fallen in love with Majima, so... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Does Majorina even get married? I'm at no point to answer that. Like, his current actual love interest, story-wise, is currently dying on a boat. And the, one, the thing about these conversations is, they're way better in future games, because there's only like two or three hostesses, and not six. Mm. So they're not as grating. <laughs> mm. 
Everyone loves me, baby. I need, I, I have to customize. I must. So we're already at the end of our story. But still. <laughs> All right. Well, Mana-chan, I think we can call today our final practice session. Thanks for all your hard work. Done already? I wish to talk to you more. Sad face like that when time's up is gonna put your customers on cloud nine. Great going. Oh yeah? A Aww. date? Aww. Customize. Not yet. We gotta go through the sub. Give story. me. We gotta go through the sub story. Give me. <laughs> Ring. This is the third time we've been to this damn bridge. Mhm. Mm By the way, these are not that interesting, so I'm I'm not I'm not reading these out. No. You can pause. You can read. This video's long enough. Of love and ramen. I think where I'm going actually has half decent Robin. Oh yeah. Not not Japan, but still. Chest pains. Okay. Kind of hard to breathe. Kotokun's so nice. Hey baby, you look fine tonight. Misogynist prick. No kid. Who left you all alone, shivering in the cold? Why don't you come with us, sweetheart? No. Besides, the moment I saw you, I was in love. How about I give you something big and warm? The no. amount... The sheer amount of these fuckers in this series is just... Like, how? How do you say these things? Hey, what do you think you're doing with my lady? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Throw them off the bridge, throw them off the bridge, throw them off the bridge! You're out of chances, you monkey! He finds himself in a shit store. Going off the bridge. Majba has not killed a man yet. Um, actually, no, he's mm. actually killed multiple. I forgot. <laughs> On the uh, balcony of the building. All of those men are dead. Which technically makes Majima a serial killer. Eh, it was, a, it was justified. Just because it's justified doesn't mean it's still serial, doesn't mean it's still not serial killer. <laughs> Don't leave me with this monster. Wait. And you're like, oh my god, you're so cool. I love you. <laughs> and you're so silly. Cause was near me all along. Majma is a himbo who kills. You could, hmm, you could qualify many of the people in this series as that. A death himbo. <laughs> and that was the sub story. Complete Mana's sub story. Let's go. Sir, you really fucking, give fucking fine. Jesus. All right, then. What do we want to go for? Nothing. It does not matter. We're, I'm not playing this mini game again. You 
do whatever you like. I wanna Let's be get her up. Girl. Let's see if we can't get her to be funny. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Somebody say I'm a good girl with a drink enough for wine. Every man seems so happy to see me there. Stay tuned for the Void Ink Sings channel. Coming soon to your eye holes. So if we were to start a, a song channel, what would be your style? Folk song. Folk. You ever want to hear a sea shanty by an insane man? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? That fits. Yeah, but see, what I was thinking was. I feel like I could rap. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe. But of course, I would be the one doing the girl songs. Because you don't have a girl voice. I am unfortunately tenor. This song could be our, our very first video over there. I feel like it would be very grating though. In fact, folks, I'll give you some behind the scenes look. I was going to record a cover of 24 Hour Cinderella. I did it. I was like, this sucks. This sounds horrible. And that's why that video never saw the light of day. I know my limits on what sounds alright. Sir, be honest. Did you play the Barbie dress up flash games? Not of my own free will. I'm kind of getting the opposite feeling right now. You were the one who said, Please let me make over. Please. No. So then, what would you say you said? Because that's basically what you said. You really want to know what I said? I said, for the love of God, that that's ugly. You just move, move over, move over. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and folks, did you see the uh, the Persona opening ranking video? I feel like I had some hot takes in there, but I don't care. My opinion.
And so if we catch up with the series, you could maybe do one too. You know? In 15 years. When we catch up with the series. By that point, Persona 6 may be out. Maybe. Sir, are you focusing on stats? Why? I'm just asking because you've changed the, tried to change the outfit like three times. Try to make something that looks good. Do we have someone like this yet? No. I don't think we've got a delinquent. We could give her the Poindexter. Actually. Earrings don't work like that. Oh, that, okay, no, there you go. That's how they work. So that's I'm not crazy about this, but it works. It, the, the game does not give you much options. I noticed something I'm not going to tell you, though. They, they look good. They look good. What'd you notice? No, they look good. What did you notice? Three of them have the same hairstyle. Look, it's... I know, it's I know, but it's fine. It's fine. They're, they look good. They're slaying. We're done with Cabaret Club. We're never coming back to it. We're done. It's over with. No more. Let me, let me, let me look. Completion list. Business. Okay, we just gotta recruit the rest of them and then partner with the shops. That's That doesn't even require us to go here. It's done. It's over with. No more.
Now, before we go, we do have a few tiny things I want to do quickly that do with... F right. We did do the last sub-story. What's up with this weird paging? It's never made this sound before. 109, 8, 9, 10. 9 pitches. 3 batters and 9 pitches? Good pitcher. It says just 9 pitches, I guess. Maybe someone struck out 3 batters one after another. What's that guy doing at anything? 10, 9, 4. Oh, that'd be pitching place. And 51 is come. The batting cages, maybe? I don't know that. What's this supposed to mean? Like a bullpen? What the hell's this about? I don't think they're talking about a batting center. 160. Oh. The hell? A mo ray? Isn't that like Italian for love? <sighs> Who the heck's sending me these bizarre messages? Or maybe it's some secret code? How do I crack it? Could be some kind of conspiracy. Maybe the town's in danger. Think, Goro, think. Gotta crack the code. A bullpen. And love in Italian, right? Mm. Italian's kinda like Spanish, right? And they got bullfights in Spain. I think I'm getting somewhere with this. Where am I? I guess I can check out a bullfighting place. Sotenborian Peril. So yeah. Million Daughter found a dream machine. Did you notice? The messages for him and Kiri were different. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be the same. Also, um, this is Isobe. She's from the disco uh, sub-stories. When you finish them, you get her. I forgot to recruit her, but there, there she is. Leaving pool. Okay, so before we go, I want to do a quick thing. Few quick things. So you remember this girl, right? All that time ago, at the at the this place, who needed to the owner got in a car wreck and she needs right. to make food for the client. Yeah. I've got the shit. Oh. Uh, did you manage to get all the ingredients? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost time for the reservation. Hi, boss. We're a little early. Hope that's not a problem. They're here already. Are you okay, Nozomi? Oh, she's perfectly fine. Why don't you gentlemen have a seat? Alright. What needs to be done first? Let me think, let me think. Need to cut all the ingredients first, and then... And then I need to season the... Majima-san, I don't know if I can do it. Take a deep breath, and don't season me. There's no time. You ain't gotta get anything done if you panic. It's okay, I'll help you. You'll help with the cooking? I can do the simple things, chopping, slicing. But I'll free you up to do the rest, yeah? Majima's such a nice guy. You must have been terribly disappointed. The difference was pretty obvious. It wasn't bad at all. The boss can do what he does only because of decades of hard work and experience. You can't duplicate that. But you did everything you could to make sure we had a good meal. I could tell you really put your heart into it. The food was great. Johnson. Johnson Johnson. Oh, here's the boss. Are you alright? Aren't you hurt? I'm fine. Did you think falling under a car would kill me? You're not getting rid of me so easily. But then why are you so late? They made me go for a checkup at a hospital. It took ages. I told them I didn't even have a scratch on me, but they wouldn't let me go. What a pain. Now oh, I think I'm about to pop a vein. When did I give you permission to serve your food to customers? Mm-hmm. 
And then he tries it. Boss? You still got a lot to learn, but you did good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This isn't anywhere near good enough to serve to customers yet. I'm going to make sure you learn how to cook properly. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Yes. That's, that's, that's basically it. Thank you, Majima. And for doing this, we get a trouble finder. Don't we have one already? No, we have the enemy finder. That's the one for when people are ganging up. For some reason, they're separate. Even though I think the enemy finder also finds those two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Friend the boss at Komion. Now we can buy the place. Now we can buy him, yes. Well, we don't buy it, we just go back in, and then he gives it to us. For free. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the river master. It's not that good though, we already have the best one. Alright, and that was just a little tiny thing I wanted to do. Now to get the rewards. Rewards. But I think with that, we'll end it there. Fuck. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh. When we see the, um, Let's take your torsion left testicle. Gwah!